It is the, the law. It's the statute. It passed unanimously. It is the expectations of the law. School districts are still finalizing plans for fall learning. Today, Governor Reynolds laid out what will happen to those that don't follow the state's return to learn guidelines. Schools are required to have at least 50% instruction in person, and the state will decide when students can learn from home based on community spread. The districts that don't comply and hold only virtual classes will be required to make up those days. Administrators may also be subject to licensure discipline. Well, the governor emphasized that parents have the option to enroll their children in 100% virtual learning, but can't mandate that. At least two districts indicated they intend to disregard the state's guidance. Waukee schools also disagree with the state's guidance. KCCI's Kayla James explains the rift between the two sides. Governor Reynolds made it clear at Tuesday's press conference. Schools that choose not to return to school for at least 50% in-person instruction are not defying me, they're defying the law. And with their hybrid learning plan, Waukee schools would be compliant. But if the district has to move completely online, that wouldn't be the case, which is where the district sees an issue with the state. We are not in conflict with the law. We are in conflict with the interpretation of how this is to be managed at the local level. While key schools argue Iowa Code 274 ensures districts and school boards have exclusive jurisdiction in all school matters. With their hybrid learning model, families must choose between online or in-person learning. 80% of students so far will return to school buildings. We'll have just under 12,000 students in the district this year, so 22 to 2,400 students will be online. The administration intends for students to continue with their choice for the entire semester. They emphasize that at Tuesday's return to learn town hall as well as the role the Dallas County Department of Health plays if there's ever a positive case. We'll be doing the contact tracing to those families and be talking to them about their quarantine status. While key schools will start the year on August 25th, but in the meantime, Dr. Buck says he's willing to still hear from state leaders. If the governor wants to start meeting with individual school districts about concerns we have related to definitions on the implementation of a law, uh, we stand ready to have that conversation. And that was Kayla James reporting. The Waukee Board will vote next Monday to decide what it would take to make the move to go completely online. Families still have until tomorrow to choose online or in person for the hybrid learning plan.